Our Father, we thank you very much for our Bible study once again tonight. Baba, wa dupe lo wo ino kolo kpo fun eko bi bili wa ti e ashale yi. We thank you because of the steps of faith we have been looking at in your word. A dupe lo wo ino fun yi be se igbagbo e ti a ti inwo ni no ro yi. And we thank you because of the power of your word to reproduce faith in every heart. A si dupe lo wo ino fun agbara igbagbo e ti a let mu wa si ishe ni no aye ni koko wa. We ask you, oh Lord, that as we look at your word again today, you will increase our faith in Jesus. Jesus name. So that in every situation in life we'll put our faith in Christ. In trials, in temptation. In persecution, in problem. In affliction or in attack. In any situation, condition we may find ourselves. We know that if we can believe leave you and trust in you have faith in you that faith will get us out of that problem we'll be able to pass through the fire without being burnt we'll be able to go through the river without being drowned and through whatever it is that may be in our lives we'll be able to go through victoriously if we can have faith in you we are praying, O oh Lord, that you will increase the faith of every brother, every sister, everyone here tonight, hearing your word in Jesus' name. We pray that problems will not drown our faith. On the other hand, our faith faith will overcome in every problem in Jesus name make us strong make us overcomers I will pray oh Lord that will stand as covenant children of the Lord and not walk in unbelief or in doubt we will walk in faith thank you Lord for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight we come again to Hebrews chapter 11. We were just looking at three verses of scripture. You will find out yourself that these three verses of scripture are so loaded with meaning, with uh, good, good things that we cannot go beyond the three verses. As we read them together, I want you to have a feel of what the Lord has for us in these three verses. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 17, 18, and 19. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that received the promises offered up his only begotten son. And of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead from when also he received him in a figure. Here we're learning about Abraham. And you'll find that the faith of Abraham was an active faith. And the faith of Abraham affected every action, every step of his life. You will discover as we study the study of today, you will discover that in every step that he took, he was going by faith, going by faith after the Lord. 
ninu eko ti an ke ko ni loni wi pe ninu gbogbo awon igbese ti o ngbe ise lo ngbe igbese ni sise n tele te be lo nto oluwa leyin already as we started learning about abraham eh ni lo lo na bi ati nke ko ni pa abraham the very thing that is single that in his life is his faith in god on ti a ri ti o se kan pa ninu igbese aye re o ni igbagbo re ninu oluwa look at verse 8 by faith abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance he obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went iwo wo ese ikejo oni ni pa igbagbo ni abraham nigbati a pe lati jade lo si ibi ti ohun yo gba fun ile ni o gbo o si jade lo lai mo ibi ti ohun re you will see that from the very beginning he started following the lord by faith o ri pe lati ibere pepe o lo tin gbe igbese igbagbo lati ma to oluwa leyin look at verse 9 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with isaac and jacob the heirs with him of the same promise iwo wo ese ikesan oni ni pa igbagbo ni o si ati po ni ile ileri bi eni pe ni ile ajeji o ngbe inu ago pelu isaac ati jacob awon ajogun ileri kan na pelu re again as he dwelt in the land of promise as in a strange country a place he had never been before what was single that in his life is his faith in the lord bi ati ri ti o ngbe ile ileri gege bi ati po tabi alejo nibe o ti atu se awa ri ninu igbese aye gbigbe ti o ngbe be ni pe igbagbo re se olorun in verse 11 through faith also Sarah herself received strength to receive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised ni ese ikokan la nipa igbagbo ni Sarah ti kara re pelu fi ni agbara lati loyun nigbati o ko ja igba re nitori o ka eni ti o se ileri si oloto when are you talking about Abraham or you talking about his family or you talking about Sarah you are talking about people that follow the Lord by faith ti o ba nsoro ni pa Abraham tabi to ba nsoro ni pa ebi re tabi to ba nsoro ni pa Sarah iyawo re o nsoro and yet of all the expressions of Abraham's faith nothing was more remarkable than what we are studying today the offering up of his son Isaac we are ready to you already that I, God himself called upon him to offer up his son Isaac unto him and without any argument it was his wonderful submission in his faith Eh ati ka si e ti gbo re na pe Olorun pe lati pe pe ki o fi omo re rubo o si gbo ran o le si je agbaya nu igbagbo ninu aye re It was a difficult duty responsibility God was calling him to O je oju se e ti o lagbara lopolopo e ti Olorun si n pe sinu re It has the power to help a man to perform a very difficult duty E igbagbo o ni agbara lati ran eniyan lowo lati se ise ti o soro gidigidi And so to be able to obtain an important blessing Ati papa lati le you can see the depth, you can see the height of Abraham's faith here. In his willingness to give back everything that the Lord had given him, he received it by faith, he gave it back to the Lord by faith. Actually, the Lord was testing his submission unto him. He was testing his loyalty to the Lord. He was testing his love. He was testing his affection for the Lord. And the Lord wanted to know who did Abraham love more God or Isaac the gift of Isaac or the giver God and so as to test what he loved more the Lord called him and he said he should offer his son please remember that all the promises of God unto Abraham centered around the seed that is Isaac and you see at this time now the Lord said offer this child up to me and he believed God he knew that God was a faithful God that God will do whatever is necessary to do so as still to fulfill all his promises he was not the one that will play 
any trick. He was not the one that will do anything to fulfill those promises. God had made the promises. He will fulfill the promises. The promises are centered on Isaac. He now tells me to offer Isaac. I will do what he tells me to do. It's his responsibility to know how he will fulfill the promises centered around Isaac. It trusted and rested in the wisdom of God. In the power of God. In the faithfulness of God. He said, I will do what he wants me to do. Fulfilling the promises, I leave that in his hand. He will do it, I know. So we're going to look at the study under three subheadings. Number one, the test of faith. Not an ordinary test, the test of faith. Number two, the testimony of faith. That you learn from Abraham. Always a testimony in his mouth. And all through the test, the testimony of faith was in his mouth. Wow. I that led to the triumph of faith. I believe we're going to be triumphant as we keep on trusting the Lord. Faith will never disappoint us. If we will trust in the Lord at the end of the journey, after the test, there will be a testimony in your mouth. And you are going to be triumphant in Jesus' name. You know, at the time of test, not many people can sing. At the time of testing, no, no, not many people can be giving testimony. At the time when you are going through a problem, when you are going through a test from the Lord, not many people will be rejoicing before the Lord. But testimony must follow your test. I don't really mean the testimony of a miracle. I mean the testimony of the faithfulness of God. Testimony that God will never fail. Testimony that God will provide. Testimony that there is no disappointment in God. Testimony that all things work together for good for them that are called by God who love the Lord. Testimony that there will be joy and singing in the morning. Testimony that after the cloud is going to be rain, there's going to be clearness. Testimony that this is not the end of the road. It's so late. Yes, I am passing through. I will emerge on the other side without any problem. Testimony in your mouth at the time of the test. And then you are going to be triumphant. I said you are going to be triumphant. The period of joy will be greater than the period of sorrow. The period of laughter will be greater, will be longer than the period of weeping. Only keep the testimony about the faithfulness of the Lord in your mouth, you will emerge triumphant at the end in Jesus' name. Now let this not surprise you, there is a test. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17. Point number one, the test of faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried. That is when he was tested. Offered up Isaac. He that received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. 
Let us look at the text itself in Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1. And it says, and it came to pass after these things that God did tempt, that is, he tried, that is, he tested Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains where I will tell thee all. Oh, she shall lay in come in your long road, in your nickel long yearly Abraham. Oh, she will pay Abraham, sit down, pay a mini ye. Oh, she will pay more money, and this is in Isaac your money, and now Caso so tea will fare. Key, what you see, Lossy Lam Moria, Cos if you rubbish is only bed, or you are cunning, okay, and you so far. You see what test came to the life of Abraham. Think about three things connected with the test. Number one, the time of the test. Number two, the task in the test. Number three, the trust during the test. I want you to think about the time of the test. Because we're told in verse 1. And it came to pass after these things. What does that mean? After these things. Because that tells us the time of the test. After these things, after he had waited for 25 years for Isaac. After these things, after the child had been born. After these things, after the Lord had repeated over and over and over, in I seek that shall shall thy seed be called. After these things, look at the stars of heaven, look at the sand at the seashore. All that will come through I seek, they will be uncountable. Innumerable. That's another thing we need to note on after these things. That is, after Ishmael had been cast out of the house. After Hagar had been cast out of the house. No other son, the only son remaining now. This is the son he had waited for for 25 years. This child had eventually been born. All the promises are centered on Isaac. The alternative, Ishmael, had been cast out. It remained only one. After it remained only one, then the test came. And so when it says it came to pass, after this is that God did try, he tested, and he tempted, he tempted, that really means testing and trying, he, he tested him saying, be, he said, behold, here I am, take now thy son, thine only son, no son remaining now, Ishmael is gone, I will never return, Hagar is gone, will never return, your only son remaining, offer him to me. Then number two, the task in the test. The, the responsibility, the thing he was to carry out. If God had told Abraham to sacrifice Ishmael, it would have been simpler and easier. He had many flocks, he had many cattle. If the Lord had told him, all your cattle, all your flock, everything that you have, slaughter everything, offer everything to me, leave Isaac alone, the task would have been easier. Number three, the 
If the Lord had told him to offer any of his servants because he had many servants, it would have been an easier task. If the Lord had told him to offer any of his servants because he had many servants, it would have been an easier task. Even concerning Isaac, if the Lord had told Abraham sending me away, away from home, it would have been a difficult thing, but it would have been an easier thing to just send him away from home like you have sent away um, Ishmael. But to see the task, he was not to slaughter just an animal. He was to offer as a burnt offering Isaac, his only son, unto the Lord. And there is another thing that shows the very face of Abraham here. When God told Abraham to send away Ishmael, he gave him the reason. He said, send away Ishmael. Because I want to fulfill my promise through Isaac. He gave him a reason. He said everything is centered on Isaac. He said that this Ishmael will not be heir, will not take the inheritance with Isaac. And since Isaac is there, since the child of laughter, since everything is bound up in him for that good, wonderful reason, send away Ishmael. When he told him to offer up Isaac, he never gave any reason. He didn't make any explanation. He didn't even plead with him. He didn't even ask him any questions. He just made a bare statement and said, this is your responsibility, this is your task, this is what you have to do. Take now, don't waste time. Right now take him, thy son. I'm talking about thine only son, if you don't understand, whom thou lovest. And then go to that mountain I will show you and offer him up to me. The time of the test. The task in the test. You must give up that child, offer that child as a bond offering to the Lord. Number three now, the trust that he had in God during the test. Look at Genesis chapter 22 verse 3. And Abraham wrote, rose up early in the morning and he saddled his ass and he took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and he clave the wood for the bond offering and he rose up and he went unto the place of which God had told him. Abraham was the day he was born to him. And there was no delay. There was no argument. There was no questioning. There was no philosophy. There was no human reasoning. Oh God, is this not contradictory? If I do what what you are telling me now, how about the promise you made to me? How will it be fulfilled? Oh Lord, are you not contradicting yourself? How can I match this present commandment with the previous promise that you have given me? But he trusted in the Lord. He said, the Lord knows what he's saying. The Lord knows what he's doing. Mine is to obey. He will settle everything by himself. We are told in verse 4 that then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and he saw the place afar off. The time 
the a, task, the trust. A koko, ojushe, ati, Maybe you know that test still comes into our lives. I mean the test of faith. Many people that do not know that it is a test. They do not know that God has solution. He has answer to that test. He is passing us through. This is an impossible situation. How can God require this from me? How do you see God will allow me to pass through this? They do not know it is only a test. They know it's just waiting. If you will trust in the faithfulness of the Lord and give the testimony of the Lord in your mouth, that test will turn into triumph in Jesus' name. In John chapter 6 and in verse 5, I want you to see that test succeed coming today. John chapter 6 verses 5 and 6. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw the great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? There were thousands of people. And they were coming unto the disciples unto cry. They will have something they will have need to eat. And Jesus knew what he will do. But he didn't tell his disciples. He wanted to prove and test their faith. And so he said unto Philip. He said, Philip looking at this great multitude. When shall we buy bread? How will Jehovah be asking me, where shall we buy bread? He created the world out of nothing. How will the Lord of Lords be asking me, where shall we buy bread? He prepared the multitude in the wilderness without any shopping, without any planting, multitude for 40 years, manna coming from heaven. How will Jesus be asking me where shall we buy bread? Because without him was not anything made that was made. He created everything. How will he be asking us where shall we find bread? Or today where shall we find wine? Or today where shall we find us man? Or today, where shall we get jobs? Or today, why shall we have children? Or today, how can we have healing? The one that has all power, all authority on earth and in heaven is asking you a question Where shall we find bread? Where shall we find healing? Where shall we find deliverance? Where shall we find wife? Don't you know he's only testing you if the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is asking you such a question? It's only a test. Look at verse And this is said to prove him, to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. When, when it comes like that, a question is coming to your mind. How shall we find this now? How shall we find this now? Maybe the Lord is even asking you, how shall we get this one? How shall we get this one? Oh Lord, thou knowest. And he knows, and he will do it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 13. Reading from verse 1. Did there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give it thee a sign or a wonder? And the sign of the wonder come to pass whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, let us serve them. The situation here is that you are looking for something and you have not got it yet 
and here comes somebody introducing you to another prophet or a dreamer of dreams or he himself is a prophet he himself is a dreamer of dreams and he says let's go and serve other girls and he even gives you a sign and the sign comes to pass it appears that he's even a miracle worker the lord is allowing that to come your way to test you <laughs> Look at verse 3. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proves you. He is testing you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Sometimes there's a little delay. A father, we thank you very much for our Bible study once again tonight. We thank you because of the steps of faith we have been looking at in your word. And we thank you because of the power of your word to reproduce faith in every heart. We are asking, O Lord, that as we look at your word again today, you will increase our faith in Jesus' name. So that in every situation in life, we'll put our faith in Christ. In trials, in temptation, in in persecution, in problem, in affliction or in attack. In any situation, condition we may find ourselves. We know that if we can believe you and trust in you, have faith in you, that faith will get us out of that problem. We'll be able to pass through the fire without being burnt. We able to to go through the river without being drowned. And through whatever it is that may be in our lives, we'll be able to go through victoriously if we can have faith in you. We are praying, O oh Lord, that you will increase the faith of every brother, every sister, everyone here tonight, hearing your word in Jesus' name. We pray that problems will not drown our faith. On the other hand, our faith will overcome in every problem in Jesus' name. Make us strong. Make us overcomers. I will pray, Lord, that will stand as covenant children of the Lord. And not walk in unbelief or in doubt, we will walk in faith. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight we come again to Hebrews chapter 11. Today we are just looking at three verses of scripture. You can find out yourself that these three verses of scripture are so loaded with meaning, with uh, good, good things that we cannot go beyond the three verses. Hebrews chapter 11. As we read them together, I want you to have a feel of what the Lord has for us in these three verses. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 17, 18, and 19. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. 
and he that received the promises offered up his only begotten son nipa igbagbo ni abraham nigbati adon wo fi isaac rubo eni ti o si fi ayo gba ileri won ni fi omo bibi re kan so so rubo of whom it was said that in isaac shall thy seed be called ni ti eni ti a wi pe ninu isaac ni a o ti pe iru omo re accounting that god was able to raise him up even from the dead from when also he received him in a figure o si pari re si pe olorun ti le le gbe dide ani kuro ninu oku ati ibi ti o ti gba pada pelu ni apere here we are learning about abraham ni la tin ke ko ni pa abraham i will find that the face of abraham was an active face o si si awari pe igbagbo abraham o je igbagbo ele ti a fi si oju se and the face of abraham affected every action every step of his life ati pe igbagbo abraham yi o ni pa ninu gbogbo igbese ninu igbese aye you will discover as we study the study of today you will discover that in every step that he took he was going by faith going by faith after the lord o si awari ninu eko ti an ke ko ni loni wi pe ninu gbogbo awon igbese ti o ngbe ise lo ngbe igbese ni sise ntele ti be lo nto oluwa leyin already as we started learning about abraham eh ni lo lo na de atin ke ko ni pa abraham the very thing that is single that in his life is his faith in god o ti a ri ti o se kan pa ninu igbese aye re o ni igbagbo re ninu oluwa look at verse 8 by faith abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance he obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went owe se ikejo oni nipa igbagbo ni abraham nigbati a pe lati jade lo si ibi ti o nyo gba fun ile ni o gbo o si jade lo lai mo ibi ti o n re you will see that from the very beginning he started following the lord by faith o ri pe lati ibere pepe o lo tin gbe igbese igbagbo lati ma to oluwa leyin look at verse 9 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with isaac and jacob the heirs with him of the same promise owe se ikesa oni nipa igbagbo ni o si ati po ni ile ileri bi eni pe ni ile ajeji o n gbe inu ago pelu isaac ati jacob awon ajogun ileri kan na pelu re again as he dwelt in the land of promise as in a strange country a place he had never been before what was single that in his life is his faith in the lord bi ati ri ti o n gbe ile ileri gege bi ati po tabi alejo nibe o n ti atosi awari ninu igbese aye gbigbe ti o n gbe be ni pe igbagbo re si olorun in verse 11 through phase also sarah herself received strength to receive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised ni ese e kokan la nipa igbagbo ni sarah ti ka re pelu fi ni agbara lati loyun nigbati o ko ja igbare re nitori o ka eni ti o se ileri si oloto What are you talking about Abraham or you talking about his family or you talking about Sarah you are talking about people that follow the Lord by faith Ti o ba nsoro ni pa Abraham tabi to ba nsoro ni pa ebi re tabi to ba nsoro ni pa Sarah iyawo re o nsoro ni pa awon eniyan ti won gba Olorun gbo And yet of all the expressions of Abraham's faith E sugba lori gbogbo alaye ni pa igbagbo Abraham yi Nothing was more remarkable than what we are studying today the offering up of his son Isaac Ko si e ti o je agbaya nu ni beju e ti an keko nipa re loni yen nipa fifi isaac omo re rubo we ready to you already that I, god himself called upon him to offer up his son isaac unto him and without any argument it was a wonderful submission in his faith eh ati ka si e ti gbo re na pe olorun pe lati pe pe ki o fi omo re rubo o si gbo ra o le si je agbaya nu igbagbo ninu aye re it was a difficult duty responsibility god was calling him to o je oju se e ti o lagbara lopolopo e ti olorun si n pe sinu re it has the power to help help a man to perform a very difficult duty e igbagbo o ni agbara lati ran eniyan lowo lati se ise ti o soro gidigidi and so to be able to obtain an important blessing ati papa lati le gba ibukun ti o se pataki you can see the depth you can see the height of abraham's faith here o wa le ri jijin ati giga igbagbo abraham ni no bi ta sai willingness to give back everything that the lord had given him he received it by faith he gave it back to the lord by faith ni no fi fe lati fi gbogbo o ti olorun fi fun lati fi pada fun olorun o gba nipa igbagbo o si fe fi fun olorun nipa igbagbo actually the lord was testing his submission unto him nipe a si ri pe olorun yiri iteri ba re wo si olorun he was testing his loyalty to the lord be ni o yiri jo loto re si olorun he was testing his love he was testing his affection for the lord o to o yiri ife re ati afere re to ni si olorun wo the lord wanted to know 
Who did Abraham love more? God or Isaac? The gift of Isaac or the giver? God. And so as to test what he loved more, the Lord called him and he said he should offer his son. Please remember that all the promises of God unto Abraham centered around the seed that is Isaac. And you see at this time now the Lord said, Offer this child up to me. And he believed God. He knew that God was a faithful God. That God will do whatever is necessary to do so as still to fulfill all his promises. He was not the one that will play any trick. He was not the one that will do anything to fulfill those promises. God had made the promises. He will fulfill the promises. The promises are centered on Isaac. He now tells me to offer Isaac. I will do what he tells me to do. It's his responsibility to know how he will fulfill the promises centered around Isaac. And trusted and rested in the wisdom of God. In the power of God. In the faithfulness of God. He said, I will do what he wants me to do. Fulfilling the promises, I leave that in his hand. He will do it, I know. So we're going to look at the study on the three subheadings. Number one, the test of faith. Not an ordinary test, the test of faith. Number two, the testimony of faith. That you learn from Abraham. Always a testimony in his mouth. And all through the test, the testimony of faith was in his mouth. And then that led to the triumph of faith. I believe we're going to be triumphant as we keep on trusting the Lord. Faith will never disappoint us. If we will trust in the Lord at the end of the journey, after the test, there will be a testimony in your mouth. And you are going to be triumphant in Jesus' name. You know, at the time of test, not many people can sing. At the time of testing, no, but no, not many people can be giving testimony. When you are going through a problem, when you are going through a test from the Lord, not many people will be rejoicing before the Lord. But testimony must follow your test. I don't really mean the testimony of a miracle. I mean the testimony of the faithfulness of God. Testimony Testimony that God will never fail. Testimony that God will provide. Testimony that there is no disappointment in God. Testimony that all things work together for good for them that are called by God who love the Lord. Testimony that there will be joy and singing in the morning. Testimony that after the cloud there is going to be rain, there is going to be clearness. Testimony that this is not the end of the road. It's only a test. I am passing through. I will emerge on the other side without any problem. Testimony in your mouth at the time of the test. And then you are going to be triumphant. I said you are going to be triumphant. The period of joy joy will be greater than the period of sorrow. The period of laughter will be greater, will be longer than the period of weeping. Only keep the testimony about the faithfulness of the Lord in your mouth. 
you will emerge triumphant at the end in Jesus name let this not surprise you there is a test Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17 point number one the test of faith by faith Abraham when he was tried that is when he was tested offered up Isaac he that received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called let us look at the test itself in Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1. And it says, And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt, that is, he tried, that is, he tested Abraham, and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains where I will tell thee all. Abraham you see what test came to the life of Abraham. Think about three things connected with the test. Number one, the time of the test. Number two, the task in the test. Number three, the trust during the test. I want you to think about the time of the test. Because we're told in verse 1, and it came to pass after these things. What does that mean? After these things. Because that tells us the time of the test. After these things, after he had waited for 25 years for Isaac. After these things, after the child had been born. After these things, after the Lord had repeated over and over and over, in I seek that shall shall thy seed be called. After these things, look at the stars of heaven, look at the sand of the seashore. All that will come through I seek, they will be uncountable innumerable. There's another thing we need to note on after these things. That is, after Ishmael had been cast out of the house. After Hagar had been cast out of the house. No other son, the only son remaining now, this is the son he had waited for for 25 years. This child had eventually been born. All the promises are centered on Isaac. The alternative, Ishmael, had been cast out. It remained only one. After it remained only one, then the test came. And so in verse 1 it says it came to pass after this is that God did try he tested and he tempted he tempted that really means testing and trying he, he tested him saying be, he said behold here I am take now thy son thine only son no son remaining now Ishmael is gone I will never return Hagar is gone will never return your only son remaining offer him to me Number 
o si wi fun pe abraham si da pe mi niye o si wi fun pe mu omo re ni sisin isaac omo re na ka soso leyin gba ti ismaeli ti lo ti agai ti lo tun wo le pada wa sinu e bi yen mo oni mu omo re na na ka so ti wo fe ki o si lo fi ru bo fun ni number 2 the task in the test e ke ji o wa ni oju se tin be ninu iye wo na the responsibility the thing he was to carry out o ti o lati gbe se ni akoko iyiri wo na if god had told abraham to sacrifice ishmael it would have been simpler and easier he had many flocks, he had many cattle. If the Lord had told him, all your cattle, all your flock, everything that you have, slaughter everything, offer everything to me, leave and seek alone, the task would have been easier. Only up a lock, I want to go to go to if the Lord had told him to offer any of his servants because he had many servants, it would have been an easier task. But he concerning Isaac, if the Lord had told Abraham, send him away, away from home, it would have been a difficult thing, but it would have been an easier thing to just send him away from home like you have said. Sent away I am Ishmael. But to see the task, he was not to slaughter just an animal. He was to offer as a burnt offering Isaac, his only son, unto the Lord. There is another thing that shows the very face of Abraham here. When God told Abraham to send away Ishmael, he gave him the reason. He said, send away Ishmael. Because I want to fulfill my promise through Isaac. He said, everything is centered on Isaac. He said that this Ishmael will not be heir, will not take the inheritance with Isaac. And since Isaac is there, since he's the child of laughter, since everything is bound up in him, for that good, wonderful reason, send away Ishmael. When he told him to offer up Isaac, he never gave any reason. He didn't make any explanation. He didn't even plead with him. He didn't even ask him any question. He just made the bare statement and said, This is your responsibility. This is your task. Ask, this is what you have to do. Take now. Don't waste time. Right now, take him, thy son. I'm talking about thine only son. If you don't understand, whom thou lovest, and then go to that mountain, I will show you and offer him up to me. The time of the test. The task in the test. You must give up that child, offer that child as a bond offering to the Lord. Number three now, the trust or it, that he had in God during the test. Look at Genesis chapter 22 verse 3. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and he sandaled his hands and he took two of his young men with him and I seek a son and he claimed the wood for the burnt offering and he rose up and he went unto the place of which God had told him. Abraham was the day you could to go to and there was no delay there was no argument there was no questioning there was no philosophy there was no human reasoning oh God is this not contradictory if I do what you are telling me now, how about the promise you made to me? How will it be fulfilled? Oh Lord, are you not contradicting yourself? How can I match this present commandment with the previous promise that you 
have given me. Ba wo ni ase to o pa fun mi lowo lowo e se ma se dede pelu ileri to se fun mi lai pe. In the law. Suba o ni igba kale ninu Oluwa. The Lord knows what he's saying. O ni Oluwa man to nso. The Lord knows what he's doing. Oluwa man to nse. Mine is to obey. He will settle everything by himself. Oju se temi lati ni lati gboran o gan fun rara re ni o yanju oro na. We told him but for that day on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and he saw the place afar off. Aso fun wa ni ese kerin pe ni ijo kan ta Abraham si gbe oju re so ke o si ri be na lokere. The time the A- task the trust akoko oju se ati igbekele do you know that test still comes into our lives wo ma pe iyiru wa ma wa sinu aye wa i mean the test of faith iya ni pe iyiru wo igbagbo many people that do not know that it is a test eh opolopo awon eniya tun wo ba ma pe iyiru wo ni they do not know that god has solution he has answer to that test he is passing us through iru awon eniya be won o ki ma pe olorun ni ona abayo nipa ti idewo to mo wa la koja this is an impossible situation eleyi je ohun ti ko se se How can God require this from me? How do you see God will allow me to pass through this? They do not know it is only a test. Oh, my pay! And the Lord is just waiting. If you will trust in the faithfulness of the Lord, and give the testimony of the Lord in your mouth, that test will turn into triumph in Jesus' name. In John chapter six and in verse five. Ninu Juanu ori kefa esa ikaro. I want you to see that test succeed coming today. Ipe ko ba le mepe iyiri wosi wasi ojo na John chapter six verses five and six. Juanu ori kefa esa ikaro ati kefa. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw the great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? In Jebi Jesus ipe ojo na soke ti osi ri akwe ni awa sodore. O wifun Philip ipe ni boni auti ra karaki. There were thousands of people, and they were coming unto the disciples unto cry. They will have something they will have need to eat. And Jesus knew what he will do. Jesus, but he didn't tell his disciples. He wanted to prove and test their faith. So he said unto Philip. He said, Philip, looking at this great multitude. When shall we buy bread? How will Jehovah be asking me where shall we buy bread? He created the world out of nothing. How will the Lord of Lords be asking me where shall we buy bread? He created the multitude in the wilderness without any shopping, without any planting, multitude for forty years, manna coming from heaven. How will Jesus be asking me where shall we buy bread? Because without him was not anything made that was made. He created everything. How will he be asking us where shall we find bread? Or today where shall we find wine? Or today where shall we find us man? Or today where shall we get job? Or today why shall we have children? Or today, how can we have healing? The one that has all power, all authority on earth and in heaven is asking you a question: Where shall we find bread? Where shall we find healing? Where shall we find deliverance? Where shall we find wife? Don't you know he's only testing you? If the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is asking you such a question, it's only a test. Look at verse six. And this is said to prove him, to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Oh, she saw a ye, lati da wo, lati yiri igbagbore wo ni tori onzi kara emanti o yoshe. When when it comes like that, a question is coming to your mind. How shall we find this now? How shall we find this now? Maybe the Lord is even asking you, How shall we get this one? How shall we get this one? Oh Lord. Lord, thou knowest, and he knows, and he will do it in Jesus' name. Be bare, ba so kule kule no kare pe ba ola seri tibi ba ola seri ton ba ola le yos le she she no aye wa ko yolo ntle fa ye ba ru bare ye ni no kare ni. 
ki o ba le mo bi wa se fi igbe kele re sinu re nigba to ba si igbe kele o fun ara re yo nuwa ona ba yo fun yo si wa fun oloruko Jesu Deuteronomy chapter 13 Deuteronomy ori ketala reading from verse 1 an kala ti ese ikini if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give it thee a sign or a wonder bi wo li kan ba wu laarin re tabi alala kan ti o si fi ami ati ise iya no kan ha o and the sign of the wonder come to pass where of his speak unto thee saying let us go after other gods which thou hast not known let us serve them ti ami na tabi ise iya no na ti o so fun ba se wi pe eje ki a tele olorun miran leyin ti iwo ko ti mo ri ki a si ma sin won the situation here is that you are looking for something and you have not got it yet and here comes somebody introducing you to another prophet or a dreamer of dreams or he himself is a prophet he himself is a dreamer of dreams and he says let's go and serve other gods and he even gives you a sign and the sign comes to pass it appears that he is even a miracle worker the lord is allowing that to come your way to test you on ti o nsele ni ni pe bi enikan bi o ba wa ninu isoro kan tabi nkan kan dojuru nu aye re sugba to wa wo na ba yo ti enikan si wa to wa boya gege bi alala ni tabi gege bi ariran tabi wo li kan ni ti ru eni be wa so fun pe ah ona ba yo wa re fun isoro re yi to tile je pe nkan pa pa sise ami ati ise iya nu to da oloju bayi ti o ba wa so fun pe ko ka lo lati sin olorun miran o sa e mo pe olorun n lo lati do wo ni look at verse 3 iwo wo ese iketa thou shall not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams for the lord your god proves you he is testing you to know whether ye love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul iwo ko gbodo fe ti si oro woli na tabi alala na nitori pe oluwa olorun yin de yin wo o yiri yin wo ni lati mo bi eyin ba fi gbogbo aya yin ati gbogbo kan yin fe oluwa olorun yin sometimes there's a little delay 